With us now is Andrew Gray. Welcome to the show, Andrew. How are you? Hello. Hello. I am very well. How are you doing? Fabulous. Where are you calling in from today? I'm calling in from sunny Los Angeles. Excellent. The Sunshine State, Cali. Woohoo. Now, did you grow up there? Are you from California originally? I'm from Northern California. I'm from Sacramento originally. Yeah, I've been okay. out here in Los Angeles going on 10 years. Time flies. Time does fly. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and then I moved out to New York um, for similar, you know, aspirations to work in our industry, in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. and film and things like that. How did you get your start, Andrew? I got my start, honestly, by having a dream, like most kids do, uh, watching Saturday morning cartoons, uh, watching the Power Rangers come on. Um, I'm, and just wanted to do something bigger with my life. What was the audition process like for that? When you like had to audition to become a Power Ranger or was it something that a casting director just chose you specifically? No, well first, you know, me, my wanting to get into the entertainment industry, I didn't know when I was a kid it was an actual business, you know. Um, but when I came to Los Angeles, that's why I came out here was to get into the business and um, I got representation with management, put myself out there to get an agent, um, was able to get signed. And actually to backtrack a little bit, I went to New York right before I got signed and entered an international presentation of performers, a competition where I found my management and my agent. And then when I got to Los Angeles, we just got to work. Uh, Power Rangers, I think was within the first two years of getting to, to Los Angeles and went out for the audition, they casted I think 2,500 guys for my role. Um, the casting whole cycle went on for about six months. Wow. I got the word. What do you think it was about you specifically that they said, you're our guy, you're going to be the Red Ranger. We want you. Not being afraid to fail, you know, being the first guy to kind of, I was like, I'm going to go all out. This is how my version of this guy is. Um, I knew that Saban was actually doing a remake of the original concept, Teenagers with Attitude, the six original colors. And I just tried to bring my own flavor, my own take to that character. And they enjoyed it, you know? I did a lot of punches and kicks in there, too. That's what I was going <laughs> to ask I you. I actually did, did you... slip. I was like, <laughs> and, I, and I punched and I slipped. And they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm okay. Keep rolling, keep rolling. This is good. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> so it was that perseverance where you just kept going that uh, they must have seen something in your attitude and they decided, yeah, you're our guy. Uh, now, did you keep some things? Do you have like toys and things from the movie or packs of cards or, you know, what was that like when you would go to the store and it'd be like you'd see things that are kind of based upon all those hits? Because you didn't just do one project, you did several projects with that brand. We did a lot of projects with the brand. You know, what I think is more um, hits to heart is putting my action figures next to the original Red Ranger and just, wow. Um, have the helmet, I have the morpher, uh, Saban and the company asked, you know, at the very end of production, you, you guys have done so much work. What would you guys like to have? And I made a list and they obliged to some of those things. That's so nice. So that was just an amazing blessing. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's fantastic, and you were singing um, off camera. You were singing "Happy Birthday" to me, which 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 was so sweet. Um, Happy so you said, birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. How do you like to best celebrate life now? You know, who are you? are you celebrating with some neighbors and some friends, or as you're starting to like get back together with things? What's happening in your world on a personal level? Well, the past four, three, four years, I've just really put into my heart that every day above ground is, is a celebration. It truly is. Life is, is fleeting. Um, we can be knocked out by a comet right now. Boom, we're, you know, all existence is gone. So just any day above ground is a celebration. How do I do that? Getting out in nature, um, putting my thanks up there to my heavenly father, going for a run, um, a lot of journaling, um, a lot of self-exploration stuff, but mainly outside, being outside, yeah. I like that. And uh, when, you, when you were 
um, finished on some of those projects, did you find that your physical fitness was important to you? Because here you went from, you know, being completely athletic all the time, all day long. Um, did you put in place some martial arts or something for yourself to keep your body active? Donna, before I answer that question, <laughs> you have great questions. Probably the be best questions that anybody's ever asked me on this topic. Yes, um, athletics has been a part of my life. And getting into the Rangers was more of um, doing the Taekwondo side that was new to me. Um, the flexibility factor, doing dialogue with uh, choreography, uh, an extensive choreography with just well-rounded and professional trained uh, stuntmen. That was the hardest part for sure. When they call cut, sometimes they're still swinging. You know, they're <laughs> still giving a roundhouse kick. So if you're not blocking, it's coming full speed. Um, it's just been a lot of work, but a lot of fun doing it. Um, athletics is a big part of my life, so I fell right into it. I like that a lot. Um, I always think that it, like you said, it looks so interesting when it's all put together, you know, and a lot of mm. times people think that, okay, well, it's a 90 minute movie, so they film this in 90 minutes. No, it's like 21 days, you know, to put 90 minutes Easy. Together. Even yeah. when we're shooting the television show, we shot, I think one episode a week, with two different units, a massive crew, a, a massive studio. Yeah, great things take time, and the fans love it. Really happy the way it came out. And speaking of fans, so I have a 30-year-old son, Andrew, who is a fan of uh, the original, like you said, the original Rangers, um, and then Matthew, my, my 15, almost 16-year-old, and I told him that I was going to get to interview you, and he's like, Mom, that's so cool. I said, yeah. I said, it is really cool. I'm 34. So, <laughs> I'm still a fan. Big fan, right? Yeah, so he was, uh, you know, we've been watching uh, a lot of your work for many years, and thank you for that. Is there a project that's coming up for you next that uh, you're excited about? Yes, I am. So there's a film that I wrote, produced, and acted in. It's called Spilt Milk. The film that I made for mental health awareness, suicide prevention. Yeah, I partnered with the Mental Health Foundation.org. Just wonderful people there. It's a story of two brothers who were extremely close, and after 10 years, they come back together to realize that both of their lives have changed drastically. Not going to give any more spoilers to that, um, but it does come out August 6th. I, uh, it's going to be on Shorts TV, it's going to be on Direct TV, ATT Universe, and Frontier. And I'll have all those channels posted as, uh, as soon as it comes up. I love that. Thank you for spending a little time with us today and wishing you continued success um, and happiness. And thank you so much. It's been fun to visit with you. And I, and I wish I had, wait, if I was going to do a Power Ranger move, can you show me one that I can do? Give me a shot. What's up? Right, like, okay, wait, 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 ready? Um, there you go. Not bad, right? John, it's been an absolute privilege. It's been truly a privilege. <laughs> I did some backstory, and I saw you did over 7,500 interviews. Thank you for what you do and how you do it. Oh, I went on your pages yesterday, and I was honestly blown away. The professionalism, the way that you compose the questions, the way that you deliver. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really care about my guest, um, and each one is special. So you're a diamond, uh, and I thank you. Happy journeys to you. That was really kind of you to... Uh, look up the show, but it gives me great joy. And you had mentioned uh, your faith and uh, my television show was divinely gifted to me. Uh, December 28th of 2008, when I was sleeping, I dreamt the entire television show in color. And it's been my honor and privilege to just shine a light on people doing good things. And you're one of those special people. So thank you so much and uh, see you soon. Okay. Bye. Yeah. See you very soon. Thanks so much. Bye. -bye. You're welcome. Bye.